Okay, act three. If Johnny shoots himself with a nail bullet, he can hide himself inside a hole. Perhaps he hides in a bound what boundary between different dimensions? What the hell? Alright, we got most terrifying stands, Tusk. I recommended this. If you found this video enjoyable, please leave a like and hell, even subscribe if you want to. It only takes so we've been through Kings of Crimson. Wait, Crimson? That's the name. Wonder View. That's my favorite. It's been a minute since I've done a Made in Heaven. Video, and recently I have been rereading Steel Ball Run. Um, I don't know. I think that's about it. Now, if you read the title of this video, we are going to be talking about. Then we saw like the top ten stands and abilities in Part Seven Steel Ball Run. And since there's a lot to go over, we're gonna talk about some of the small things about Tusk and his character. Now, one of the main inspirations for Tusk is the album by Fleetwood Mac of the same name called Tusk or the song Tusk. That's a lot of Tusks. Now, if you ever heard this song, the song is kind of crazy and all over the place, but for a good reason. Mick Fleetwood would play American Indian wood drumming over the beat using different kinds of drums and American Indian within the song just to make it kind of sound crazy and all over the place. On top of the fact of using the Trojan marching band from Southern California University to help with the song. Now, all the elements within the song all have happen individually all culminating up to a final release with all of them at the very end very similar to the build-up that tusk act one eventually goes through from tusk act one to two to three to four throughout the entire story of steel ball run so with the jojo villa araki doesn't really go crazy with tusk he kind of just says that tusk act one's supposed to be a mascot and how he slowly gradually builds up eventually becoming this battle ready stand now with all that lore out of the way we can finally get into why tusk eventually becomes the second strongest stand in the series and probably one of the most terrifying Actually, wait scratch that the most terrifying while john oh wait he the second strongest oh my god i literally just forgot who's the first i mean it don't matter he was in the devil's palm we'll get jo 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 jojo while eventually we actually see the physical form of tusk we saw the nail spinning and playing Damn, most terrifying at the time or at least a rough idea of tusk act one but shortly after that we saw tusk act one fully show itself with a fight against wired or poor cat pie kid i don't know how to pronounce his name and it's really fast and it's really long but you get the idea with the early showings of tusk act one you can really just depend on his power scaling either he's kind of almost at like a pistol level or greater than that just depends on how johnny wants to shoot his bullets we've seen him easily cleaver through enemies or pepper them it just really honestly depends with tusk act one but unironically and talk to me about these op ass abilities very strong nor terrifying to be honest the way johnny uses it at least in these early fights is just to kind of play defense or just you know not trying to die it's almost kind of inconsistent how johnny can either cleaver through opponents or just pepper them with tusk act one and it's just kind of weird and never explained and it's kind of weird how johnny would rather use his environment and his horse rather than tusk act one to actually do something effective which is kind of weird at least with these early fights also the thing looks cute it's the total opposite of terrifying you also have to remember this is the first stage of tusk so of course it's not going to be this giant terrifying stand that could do this mega amount of damage it is literally the first stage of becoming something really terrifying so of course it's not going to really have the craziest of feats still pretty cute though and moving on forward we get tusk act two in a weird kind of so way it becomes Johnny lp notices that tusk act one isn't consistent nor strong at all and even starts to doubt his abilities with his stand and himself and this is majorly shown in the silent way arc johnny and gyro are completely out match against sound man or at the time sandman gyro thinks it's finally a good point to finally show what johnny is doing wrong with the spin teaching him about the golden rectangle or the golden ratio after a brief lesson johnny golden ratio because he just can't understand this nor you know practice under the pressure at the current moment in time gyro then shows him an example then dies or you know he faints underneath the pressure of all this damn weak ass hand johnny then unlocks his new stand tusk act two while tusk act one can actually do some kind of damage and can be shot multiple times almost near infinitely with toes and hands tusk elevates that even more in tusk act 2 with the ability of shooting way stronger bullets only through the hands now with the added oh that's fine now you're probably wondering metas what are spin holes that's a weird name well yeah what is that he uses tusk act 2 and shoots nearby an object the resulting impact will cause a small hole to appear this hole will follow the rules of the golden ratio and any nearby life 
life form will be automatically traced by this hole. This hole will slowly try to reach the heart of said life form. Funny enough, what? when you look at the human body through the golden ratio, the spiral point will actually lead towards the heart, which is kind of funny after I reread all these chapters. Now you're probably wondering, is Tusk Act 2 a dramatic rehaul of Tusk Act 1 and is cost effective? Yes, and dramatically. Tusk Act 2 is so much better than Tusk Act 1 in every way. While Johnny can't shoot near infinite bullets almost spammably, gets reconciled by the fact that Johnny now has stronger bullets and he only roughly has to wait a minute for it with the added bonus of having a AOE type attack to attack his enemies while he waits. There is a reason why we never see Tus Act 1 again after this point. Tus Act 2 just becomes the default weapon for Johnny. Not only does it follow the ratio and make his spin stronger, it's just overall a better stand evolution or act in this case. I would genuinely put I'm trying to see how he's the most terrifying though with his steel balls. Due to the fact that Johnny can now just hang around Gyro without being a nuisance or just an overall encumbrance to Gyro. When Gyro Gyro is using his steel balls pretty casually, might I add, due to the fact that I just think Gyro just has more experience than Johnny when it just comes to just using the spin in general. And yes, while Stan stat guides say that technically, in theory, Tusk Act 2 should use- Nail bullets is crazy. Golden ratio, it really doesn't show it, and more like the holes themselves show it, so it's kind of a little bit weird when it comes to that, but with later acts, it does get shown. The only drawback with Tusk Act 2 is if Johnny is in an environment where there is no rectangle to reference reference Tusk Act 2 cannot be used, but since only Zapelli's and Zapelli guards know this, the only people that would have an advantage over Tusk and Johnny would be like snow type stands. Now if you are familiar with the term power leveling, Tusk Act 3 is the definition of that. Now while fighting the stand civil war, Johnny has an encounter with Jesus Christ, who gives Johnny the thought of shooting himself <laughs> Jesus Christ. Act 2 to Act 3. Act 3 can be considered Johnny's way of using What the, the hell is this anime? Act 2, which is the Zapelli's way of using the golden rotation. When Johnny shoots himself he enters the infinite point spin where he is able to freely move within this infinite point thanks to tusk act 3 and while act 3 is still activated johnny can be within this infinite point spin johnny is now able to move anywhere on the battlefield thanks to this making his shooting power and just the way that he fights is dramatically different johnny can position his hand anywhere on the battlefield to fire a nail bullet while his body can be in a completely different location what? and if you get shot by Ooh. this bullet it is assumed that it most likely acts very similar to to Tusk Act 2, where the bullet will just follow to your heart. Oh, so you can put his like hand like anywhere in the on the battlefield. Okay, that's fine. Or it could activate. But most terrifying still. Spin hole where Johnny is currently. I mean, that's working. cool. That's Out like cold to sell. An object that is other than Johnny will be completely destroyed by this spin hole. Now we never see Johnny shoot one of these bullets and act like this before, but it can be assumed. But I am of the opinion that it still acts very similar to Tusk Act Two. Now to put it into perspective, Johnny goes from just just shooting bullets that can track you down if he misses you to having dynamic 3d motion to shoot from basically anywhere while hiding his main body on top of the fact that while hiding in this hole, you cannot hit him regardless. If you try to enter said hole, your body will be completely destroyed, and the only drawback being Tusk Act 3 needs to be active. Going from basic what? shooting with an added bonus to all this is just fucking crazy. Not to also mention so you go to the hole of GG's. Johnny has surpassed the Zapelli's teachings of the golden ratio, and now has entered infinity. Now I'm going to clarify again, Johnny goes from shooting and being able to track you to infinity. That is fucking insane and dramatic as hell. Tus Act 3 alone is strong enough to fight a large majority yeah, what's good, of from all the other parts. To be honest, I would even say Tus Act 3 can probably even solo a few off the top of my head with some very light power scaling. The fact that Johnny can just shoot way more dynamically on top of the fact of being hiding in a spot where no Tusk can Act, is Act just 4? Crazy. On top of having long range. Oh, shoot. Sure. This is Act 2 right now well, you're talking about. Well developed stand. It's just really good. Tusk Act 3 is very, very oh, Act powerful. Act 3, just, Act 3. It kind of sucks that we only saw just a few glimpses of this stand before being outshined by D4C and its evolution. So how do you go one step further? Tusk Act okay, is now, incredibly powerful. Now 4. The ability to hide away in a hole that nobody can touch. Let me see. Okay, so this is like a simpler breakdown. Act 1, it's a rotating finger energies nail bullets. The Act 2, the nail bullets, bullet holes pursue enemies and objects. Oh, if they're destroyed, the rotation ends. Okay, Act 3, if Johnny shoots himself with a nail bullet, he can hide himself inside a hole. Perhaps he hides in a bound, what, boundary between different dimensions? 
What the hell? ...with having the added ability of shooting you from pretty much anywhere, where could you go from here? Well, you add the perfect rotation from the Zapellis and you get Tusk Act 4, arguably the second strongest stand in the entire series. While being pressured by Funny Valentine's D4C Love Train, Johnny has to make the critical decision of using the perfect rotation, which requires a horse in order to use it. He successfully gets a horse and perfects the perfect rotation, entering into Tusk Act 4. And to give some actual context, here no one act four is one of the best stands in all of jojo slash funny valentine while he has love train activated the only way to actually touch funny valentine is through ball breaker is a okay, i can kind yeah i can what see now how he's terrifying now failing in the end now hiding dimensions and shit four c love train is a stand that can manipulate time through just action if you try to hurt d4 c love train in any way it will redirect attacks to any point in history or anywhere in the world Tus act four does not care it breaks down this dimensional barrier and rips it open attacking funny valentine now we're gonna have to enter some funny valentine scaling to get a really good perspective on act four the fact that funny valentine can just you know redirect shots to different points in history just kind of you know scales them to be at least bare minimum 3d plus to 4d and guide statements saying that he is above dimensions just put a lot of perspective in the fact that act four just does this Dude, watch d4 c opens this barrier of time and space to uh i'm not sure a lot now that is just the act of breaking down a barrier act four can do a lot more and i, I mean, think it was in the top 10 though when attacking act four uses the infinite rotation which when attacked by it all cells in the body begin to rotate infinitely killing you in the process and if you try to let's say run and hide you will be pulled back you were shot and it just doesn't matter on this plane if you try to example here leave this dimension it will kill you in that said dimension infinitely funny valentine <laughs> tried to swap bodies a numerous amount of times but every time he could not escape the infinite rotation kept on chasing after him infinitely now you're probably wondering there has to be some type of solution to stop the infinite yeah rotation. like oh, how you stop is. that another infinite rotation but counterpoint here there is only one johnny in the entire multiverse with act four meaning that nobody can stop it unless it's johnny himself meaning man that this gets complex possible to stop this thing no d4c with what. no upgrades is od as fuck act four was able to beat d4c love train a being that transcends dimensions who had the ability to redirect attacks to different places on earth slash time was beat by tusk act four but when it comes to diego brando and the world shit gets even crazier now for the sake of argument here we're going to assume deal from part three and diego brando from part seven are more or less the same when comparing stands meaning that tusk act four can either move at light speed or massively faster than light speeds which just makes tusk act four even more terrifying than he already was other than that the next major highlight is pretty important tusk act four can move during frozen time by controlling gravity that the spin controls so if there was any doubt what that tusk act four wasn't 4d or at least you know high 3d this basically confirms it now johnny can't oh my god tusk act four during frozen time but the fact that he was able to pull off some of jotaro shit during this fight is crazy enough now i know some people are gonna say but didn't diego win that fight and yes he, he can did, move through free frozen time, time. The what entire plan of funny valentine helping him out throughout that entire one of you is the most powerful stand he was gonna get okay because he's the coolest to me but this guy I'm yeah completely tess is spy tess is spy smart, but he's not that smart to figure out this thing was gonna kill him in one shot it just kind of proves the fact that nobody can really stop this thing if you don't know what you're fighting against the fact that johnny can just go up to a person while on a horse and fire this thing is just mind-bogglingly stupid it can't be stopped unless johnny stops it it will track you down for infinity to end you it's so powerful that it <laughs> literally destroy a barrier that was holding back time and space it can invade frozen time and can pretty much beat almost invade frozen time that is different good idea of the stand beforehand and not to mention the fact there's also the implication that i might be able to break down any barrier not just defensive ones just anything that's in its way and the fact that it can use power of infinity it could break down dimensional barriers and enter different realities possibly very similar to d4c love train but that one is just these are gods man these are there, like gods not. so you see during part eight's run we see johnny <laughs> with the ability to walk 
thanks to the spin. Now, you're probably saying, Metas, what does walking have to do anything with Tusk Act 4? Or any of the Tusks? It's crazy how well, you OP see, these you characters are. Walking is kind of crucial to the human body. It allows you to do a lot of things. Walk countless numbers of miles on a day. Give you the ability to run. Do things that would, you know, require some pretty physical gaining things. The ability to move in a fight, even, if necessary. Things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis with your legs without caring or even wondering even. Now, add all of that to Johnny's limp legs. Shit gets wild real quick. All previous acts now have a wild way of now attacking. The fact that act two is now more mobile is wild enough. Now act three can literally move anywhere. Johnny doesn't even have to be in a hole now. And just imagine what act four could do with Johnny running at somebody. That shit is wow. wild. Johnny can actually do proper movement in a dramatic way that could affect anything infinitely. I'm not even joking here. And I'm totally going off script, but the fact that you know Johnny can just run at somebody leads to an infinite number of possibilities. Like Johnny literally just becomes a better person and a better stand user with his legs in like early part eight. But just imagine act four or even act three for that matter with Johnny with legs. Like that's crazy. All the stands get a dramatic increase in power just because of this. It's wild. Movement is critical in fights. And the fact that part eight Johnny has legs just means he can do a lot more now. It's just the entire point I'm trying to get at here. To be honest, this stand really deserves the most terrifying stands name. It's just way too powerful. It literally will just one shot things. If you don't don't have a stand <laughs> that actually no i'm gonna take that back you just can't win like i'm gonna be honest you, you just can't win once you're dead unless you're Dio over heaven which has the ability to it's a one tap machine reality you can't win just plain cut and simple unless you can speed blitz him or you know outsmart johnny which i don't think is too hard but just the fact that this thing still can one shot and messing up once can just end your life just is crazy like tusk act four is no joke and one of the most terrifying stands and <laughs> one of the most strongest well that is that got it deal like comment share subscribe follow me on twitter stay that got it bro god damn that's all you can say with these like stands these ops stands just what like what the hell a w video by matt